So in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at the Awada HP TRN2. This is a trigger style airbrush. However, it's got the cup on the side. Is it any good? Should you buy it? Let's find out. So this is the HP TRN2 Neo for Awada. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at what's inside the box. You can see it's got this green, which is a way that you can identify any of the Neo for Awada products. There's other airbrushes in the range. And on the back of the box here, you can see this one comes with a seven mil side feed color cup, which is also 0.24 ounces or a larger one is also included at 15 mil or 0.50 ounces. You can see it's a trigger style brush and it also looks like you've got an adapter to hook up a bottle and that's a 30 mil bottle or one ounce. So pretty good that you get the whole lot. So something to note is that this nozzle is in the medium range. You can see it goes into the wide, large and also a little bit into the fine. So I've done a bit of research because they don't tell you the nozzle size anymore on the box or in the instructions. It's all just determined by this guide, but I did find some information that suggests that this would be a 0.5 mil needle nozzle setup. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe from memory, the TRN1 is a 0.35. So that would make sense. And what's the main difference between the traditional Awada and these is that these are assembled in China with components of Taiwan, whereas the other Awadas, so anything from the Revolution right through to the Microns are all assembled from parts in Japan. So this is a side feed dual action trigger airbrush soft effortless coverage at low air pressures n5 head system 8 to 20 psi optimal working pressure and a preset handle let's go ahead and open up the box so you get the quick start guide if you've never airbrushed before then you probably should read through this but if you've been airbrushing for a while this won't really be necessary you have the suction feed bottle the one of the big mouth 30 mil or one ounce bottles and they've got this plastic adapter which will screw straight in but they are very handy little bottles to use and really good quality you get a nozzle wrench and you can see this one doesn't even have the awada branding the adapter system for the bottle so i'll try that out as well when i'm spray testing it's great that you get all these different cups and the lid just pops off you can see that breather hole there you always want to keep that clear and this is the 7 mil cup or 0.24 ounces and you also get the larger cup which is a 15 mil cup or 0.50 ounces. And the quality feels really good, as you'd expect from a water. And the airbrush feels like really good quality, triggers nice and smooth. You've got your 1 8 connector there for your hose, preset handle so you can wind this in or out to adjust how far that trigger goes back. And to hook up the bottle, screw this on the side. You gotta make sure that this hole is facing down and then this would just slot in there. So it's still gonna be a side feed brush but you're gonna be able to hook up that big bottle, which is pretty handy if you've got to spray a lot of paint. If you just wanna use the color cups, we'll just go with the smaller one and same thing, that'll just screw on there. And then you can adjust it. So that's really helpful because if you wanna work sort of up, you can do that or you can adjust it like that to work down. So whatever's easier, but I'll start the spray test with this and then I'll spray test the bottle after that. So I've got the smaller cup hooked up to the brush. I'm gonna be running at 20 PSI. It says eight to 20 PSI is optimal. I think eight would be way, way too low for what I'm trying to do. Just under half and I'm gonna remove the air cap. Even with these trigger style brushes or anything with a larger nozzle size, doesn't matter. Every airbrush, I remove the air cap. Just be careful not to drop it. So the way these trigger brushes work is very similar to a traditional spray gun. You have air first, and then the more you pull back, the more paint comes out. So we've got air, and then we're getting paint. Up close, you can get some fine lines. Keep in mind, I don't use these brushes much at all. I might use them to base in a background, but they are very handy for modelers. Even if you're painting miniatures and you want to do just undercoating, then these are really handy for that. I do like the cup on the side. I'm a big fan of that with the traditional airbrush as well. It just allows a perfect line of sight. So you've got nothing obstructing you, which is nice. You can see how smooth that is. So to get a nice heavy coat, obviously further away, and I'm just going a bit slower, and you can see how quickly 
I can get coverage and that's out of paint. We only had about half a cup left. Put some more in there so you can see how nicely that will cover. You can see no problem at all. You can easily go back over it. So definitely handy if you don't have one of these brushes already. It makes it a little bit easier to coat larger areas. You're not going to get as much fatigue on your finger because you're using that trigger style. So perfect even if you want to coat a canvas really quickly. Then you can use something like this. Okay, so now I want to hook up the bottle. So using the adapter, screw that on the side. Before you tighten it, make sure that that is facing down. You can tighten that off and then the bottle will hook in there. We'll just put some paint in there and get started. So just adding some of that paint to the bottle. That'll be enough just to test it. Screw the lid back on and then just slot that in. Twist it around until it sits in snug. And you can see how that fits on there. And then obviously, yeah, you're ready to paint. Again, pretty cool having that bottle on the side. So to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. You get a good line of sight. You can definitely still go fine enough with this. And if you are wanting to spray more of that paint, then it's definitely a good idea to use the bottle instead of the color cup. The other benefit is if you do have numerous bottles like this, then you could just, if you're trying to work through a project really quickly, you could have one of these bottles filled up with airbrush cleaner, hook that up once you've finished with your color, blast it through and then hook up your next color. You might still get some traces of the previous color coming through, but it's gonna make it a lot easier for you and quicker to switch colors rather than having to clean out the color cup every single time you wanna change your color. surprisingly feels really comfortable. I think I actually prefer running the bottle rather than the color cup because this whole section is completely clear. So it's just great that they include that in the kit as well as the traditional color cups. So now that you've seen the TRN2 in action, I think you'll agree that it is a great little brush to add to your collection, especially if you don't have a trigger style airbrush. And there are definitely some advantages by having that side feed cup. So in my opinion, I think it's definitely a worthy contender to add to your collection.